Football is back in full swing with another week of epic games. And who's got you covered on all the action for every single one of them? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. New customers can bet $5 on football and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Nobody's missing out on the action this season. All DraftKings customers can take advantage of two new offers every game day this September. Get in on the NFL Week 2 action with DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now and use code Shannon to sign up. New customers can bet just $5 and take home $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Shannon. crown is yours. Hello, welcome to another episode of Nightcap. I'm your co-host, Unc, Shannon Sharp. He's the other half co-host, Chad Ochocinco Johnson. And we're back again to talk Thursday night football. The Eagles take down the Vikings 34-28. The Eagles move to 2-0. and The Vikings go to 0-2. Take it away, Ocho. What, what was your biggest takeaway from the game? The biggest takeaway from the game was obviously it started off really slow. It started very slow, very methodical. It was somewhat boring almost and really didn't really pick up for me and make and get me excited until after halftime. Um, takeaway the most, the Vikings got to get going. The Vikings have to find a way to get going. They got to find a way to establish the run. They got they, they already got a way to get Justin Jefferson going, moving them around put them in different positions to make the plays. They got to find a way to get the running game going and find a way to get a lead. They're not, well, playing, think, they're not, they're not playing well at all. But here's the thing, Ocho. Running is about is, is a mentality. You can't say if you run the ball twice and we don't get any yards, you can't say mm -hmm. the hell with the run and just start right. throwing it all over the yard. And right. that's seemingly what Minnesota has done. Mm -hmm. But they got to take care of the football. That's seven turnovers in two games. In right. both games, they've had at least three turnovers mm -hmm. in the first half. That's too, and they should have had the lead at the half. If Jefferson doesn't muff the football out of the end right. zone, they're going into the half with a lead. That's a ridiculous rule, too. Let, let, let's, let's go back to that. That's a, that's a ridiculous rule. They, they need they need they need the, the, the competition committee in the offseason. They need to go, they need to go out and get rid of that rule. They get they got to. The it's, it's ridiculous. Okay, what would you have the rule be? They get the ball back at the two-yard line. Because at exa exactly where he loses the ball, he gets it back right there. Just the touchback and turning the ball. That's the, Come on, man. Come on right. now. That is a That's very ridiculous. harsh penalty. That's a very, very harsh penalty for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most but definitely. I, Most definitely. I mean, have anybody – I don't know if there's a player that's lost. I, it, it's close. But Kirk Cousins, you look at his numbers. He's 31 of 43, 364, four touchdowns. Mm -hmm. He has these, these, these empty calorie games that mm -hmm. if you didn't watch the game, game. and you just yeah. watch and you just look at the stats, you think like, he went crazy. He went crazy. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. But he he didn't play bad, mm -hmm. but early when they needed him to make a few mm -hmm. plays, mm -hmm. he didn't. He had a very costly uh, uh, turnover, turnover that led to seven points. Whoa, whoa. That Wait, wait, what's turnover? Not not the, the strip, strip fumble. Sack. Strip sack. That, that, that's the left tackle fault. That's yeah. the left tackle fault. And then the commentator saying, oh, the left tackle dealing with an injury. Well, if you're de dealing with an injury, you ain't no don't get the game. Hey, you, know, you ain't supposed to be out there because you just but you cost your team. Okay, but here's the thing. This is what, this is what uh, 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 Mike Shanahan used to always tell us, our coach. He says, look, don't exacerbate a situation. Okay, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the left tackle got whipped. Mm -hmm. Hold on to the ball. Just because he got whipped, yeah, that's the that blind was, side now. That's the blind I, I, side. I, I, Kirk can't even Kirk can't even see Buddy coming now. I under I understand that, but sometimes you got to bail. Sometimes you just got to hold on to the ball. Yeah, I, right. I understand it's the blind side, but don't make a situation worse. worse. He gets beat, and then you turn the ball over. Mm -hmm. The Vikings defense that's mm -hmm. terrible. How you let okay, we get the ball back. All we got to do is stop him, Ocho. We stop him, we gonna mm -hmm. get the ball back. Oh, mm -hmm. hey D, let's go, mm -hmm. D, let's go. And they run the ball down your throat. Listen, the most embarrassing thing for any NFL team to do to get is to be over. able to is to get, to run the ball up and down the field and it push is. you push you around and push you around. That's exactly what DeAndre Swift and that offensive lad did for the Eagles tonight. It was ridiculous. Swift finished with what one one seventy five? One seventy five on twenty eight carries. On 20, on twenty eight carries. They had forty eight rushes for two fifty nine, five point four carry, uh, three touchdowns. You know what's so embarrassing about the run game? Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. it's because you're moving a man against his will. Mm-hmm. Let that sink mm-hmm. in for people at home. Yeah, you're moving a man against his will. He said, "I'm saying you're finna move from this mm-hmm. back to earth." And he said, mm-hmm. "No hell, I ain't." And I say, right. hell "You say you get <laughs> out of here." And Lane Johnson and, mm-hmm. and, and Kelsey, Kelsey, and Donald, those get and Landon D- and Dixon. They mm-hmm. get those, They got him up out of there. Why not make the adjustments? Why not make the adjustments defensively? If the running game for the Eagles is doing extremely well, Brian Flores, why not put nine in the box? Why not take Harrison or Harrison, bring him down and bring him down? They, they had they needed to bring John Randall back, rest his soul for <laughs> Dolman. They needed Chris Millar. They needed the purple people eaters. They needed all of them to stop. Right. You know, okay. We get what we call a four minute offense because right. we don't want to give you the ball back. So basically, right. we got a lot of two tight end. We're just going to mm-hmm. try to run the football. Right. You know what we're going to do. We know you know what we're going to do. And mm-hmm. you still can't still stop can't it. Still can't stop it. I don't That's know. unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Very, That's unacceptable. Very, very much so. Now they in a hole. Now you're 0 and 2. You're 0 and 2. So, and that's the thing about being over because mm-hmm. you got to, you think about it now. Just to get to 500, you got to go mm-hmm. 2 and 0. Mm-hmm. A quarter of your season's gone. Yeah. Yeah. You put yourself behind the eight ball so much when you start mm-hmm. the season like they started. But what do you expect? Do you ex- expect to play in the NFL, turn the ball over six mm-hmm. times in two games before the half and win? And Listen. they had an opportunity to win. Listen, there are very few teams in the NFL that can turn the ball, ball over and still come back and actually win a game. You can't turn the ball over and expect to win unless your offense is an extreme juggernaut. And it ain't too many offensive teams that's out there like that, especially when you turn the ball over and the other team gets points off those turnovers. Well, first and second of all, you can't turn the ball over like that if your defense crap. You give up 260 <laughs> yards on the ground because you can't stop them because right, they're scoring right. on their possessions. You mm-hmm. turn it over. Put them on a short field. Real, if you can't stop them when you kick, you can't stop them when you kick the ball off, and they got to go seventy-five yards for a touchdown. Mm-hmm. How the hell you expect to stop them if you turn it over? And they only right. got to go twenty yards. All right, Vinny, you got to make your job easy as possible. You got to make yeah. your job easy as possible. And they not, they not doing that. They not doing that at all. So, if you're the head coach of the Vikings, mm-hmm. what, what, what's your speech? What's your speech at, at the uh, uh, in the locker room? We put ourselves in a hole, gentlemen. We put ourselves in a hole and we got to find a way to dig it out. It, it obviously it starts with practice. Defense, you got to learn how to you got to learn how to tackle. And then obviously, yeah. I, I, I don't want I don't want to single anybody out and I can't just put it all on Flores because Flores is a defensive coordinator. He called in defensive plays, but regardless yeah. of what the regardless of what the X's and O's are called, the players got to execute. You got to execute. Yeah. You can't you can't you can't put it on the coach. If this is what he wants to run, we need to be able we need to be able to stop and run whatever he's calling to the best of our ability. If you know the run is coming, you got to tackle. You got to wrap up. Yeah. Ain't no reason yeah. DeAndre Swift's supposed to be running six yards of carry in the they NFL. Straight, this ain't mad. Dive. This ain't mad. That this on oh, mad you run for six yards of carry. They run and dive, not Ocho. In real life. <laughs> but Ocho, here's the thing: when you look at it like this. What scheme? What I call? They running the football. Right. I know they're gonna run. You know mm-hmm. they're gonna run. They run Everybody yeah. in the stadium knows they're gonna run the football. Mm-hmm. What the hell can I call? Nothing. Get up your block, defeat the man, and, yeah. and get him on the ground. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like the pass. Okay, they do. Man, you see what they're doing? They get into this bunch formation. They're mm-hmm. doing a lot of motion. We mm-hmm. can if the pass game. I get it. Right. But when you run, all they did was just turn around and had DeAndre Swift the ball. No, nothing, nothing what? pretty, nothing pretty. There was nothing pretty, nothing exotic. Hand the ball off. They tried to get AJ, AJ, AJ Brown the ball. They weren't able to get him going. Obviously, you're gonna have games like that. We talk about we're gonna talk. The, the there was a, a heated discussion mm-hmm. between AJ and, and, and Jalen Hurst on the sideline. Mm-hmm. Take it there, because mm-hmm. you, you've been in those situations. Mm-hmm. You're a receiver. Yeah. You want the ball, mm-hmm. and you want the ball early because you want right. to be a part of the game. If you give right. Ocho the ball early, you'll have him late. I'm, Obviously, the frustration is starting yeah. to build because I got two, three catches. Listen, the only, not only that do you have two or three catches, but Devontae Smith is on the other side going off. He going yeah. slap you-know-what off. And so mm-hmm. A.J. Brown is sitting here. I'm getting a slant. Or I'm catching a hitch, or I'm in a slot, and I'm I'm, I'm running a little stick route, and I'm I look up, I got three for I got three for thirty, 
and Devontae Smith got four for 150. Hey, that ain't that don't that don't he got sit four for right. 131 of the tub. Hey, listen, that don't that don't sit right with me. That don't sit right with me. And at times, I understand how I understand how AJ feels. I understand, but it's gonna be games like that. Every game you ain't gonna go off. No. Every game ain't gonna be like now. What's gonna happen? What's probably gonna happen next time is when they come out when they come out next week and they play. Guess who the first? Guess who the first three plays might go to just to get him going? Yeah, just to AJ. keep him happy. Right. That that but, that but, but AJ got to take that. As, he has to take that as a sign of respect. Yeah. They they fear him and they respect him more than they do Devontae currently. So this, they're gonna send the coverage towards mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. But one one thing, one thing, this is what I hate. I hate for offensive coordinators to do this. Obviously, offensive coordinators, they have a scheme. They have a scheme in the way they do things. I hate when offensive coordinators allow defensive teams to dictate what we as Eagles want to do. I hate that. Justin right. Jefferson had 11 for 159 at night. The creativity from the offensive coordinator to move Justin Jefferson around to make sure, to make sure he was part of that offense – was immaculate, even though they lost. They can do the same thing with A.J. Brown. There has to be some creativity outside of the scheme. But, Ocho, when you run for two, you're not finna throw for 300 and run for 260. This ain't college. I mean, it can happen if you want to. If you you want to do that, it can happen. I I bet you there hadn't been more. I bet you there hadn't Mm -hmm. been in the 105-year history, there Mm -hmm. haven't been a 200-yard rush game and a Mm 300-yard pass game. I bet it hadn't happened more than 10 times in the history. Do you understand what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, How many carries do you – think about how many carries you have to get to get to 200. Again, this is in college. About 28, 30. 28, 30. 30. To get get 200 yards. Yeah, Swift had one, what, 175 tonight on 28. They had 260, 259 yards on 48 carries. Right. The average, you only get about six, somewhere between 62 and 68 plays. Right. So they had 48 rush attempts, and they mm-hmm. had 23 pass attempts. So they had 71. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do with that? And when right. you run in the ball, think about it, Ocho. When you turn around and hand the ball, the guy, I, get, I used to turn around, I used to tell the defense, if y'all stop TD, we'll throw the ball. But right. y'all not stopping it. We not gonna right. throw it. Throw the ball. But you know, again, but this is this is what I don't like, and this this is something that receivers have to deal with. If you're running the ball really well, don't abandon us. Don't abandon me out there. Allow me to still feel part of the game plan and a part of one of the reasons why we won. And that was probably part of the frustration that AJ Brown was feeling. I guarantee you. But again, what I don't like. Okay, we're running the ball really well. We playing really well. Uh, obviously, the Vikings made a, a, a late comeback toward the third and fourth. I, I, I call it garbage time. Yeah, but empty calories. Move him, move him around. Put him oh, in positions to make plays. Ocho, do that. You the know same what way they do with Justin Jefferson. It's I know easy. This. You know what I'm hearing you say? I ain't never heard no receipt. I ain't never heard no uh, 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 receiver when they throwing the ball. You got 150. TJ had 100. Hey mm-hmm. man, get that ball to Corey. Let Corey feel some love. Why yeah. y'all want to? Whoa, 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 whoa! You ever said that? Have you ever actually, said actually, you, when you had that two when you had that two hundred yard day? You mm-hmm. had them back to back. How mm-hmm. many times did you go to the sideline to tell the offensive of coordinator? Let's y'all make, let's y'all... talk about it. Let's talk about it. We're let me talking, give you a better, let me give you a, let me give you a better understanding on why I was able to get that two hundred yard day, or TJ was able to have that one fifty yard day. Back in our day when we played. We wasn't a pass happy offense. We played in the running era. Are you forgetting? Remember yeah. the era I played in? Jamal Lewis, Jerome Bettis, Corey Dillon. We ran the ball first. And how were I, we able to get those yards? Because we I was established the, the run. Thank I you. Was, I was we in established the league the run 12 first. years before you. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, you wasn't. When you came in the league? 90. I came in the league in 93. What are you talking about, man? You ain't came in no league in no 93. You came to the NFL in 93? Yes. I'm Why 55. How you, how, how, how you thought I was? <laughs> stop it. Yeah, man. I was born in 68. Don't do me like yeah, that. Whatever. Whatever. But anyway, as I was saying, you yeah. ever go to the offensive court, you ever go to the offensive court and say, you know what, man? Man, y'all make sure y'all get somebody running back some love. Right. Spend no look, wide receiver ever. This, this, but I, I hear what you're saying, but this is what you don't understand <laughs> is the fact that we established the running game to open us up. It wasn't yeah. now, it's the opposite way now. How you establish the run again? How you quarterback throw for 400 yards and you establish the run? When? Where? How? 
because they had to drop they had to drop a man in the back because Rudy Johnson was going crazy, Cedric Benson was going crazy, or Corey Dillon was going crazy. You drop that man in the box, we're gonna kill you on the outside. Matter of fact, even if you did double team us, we still gonna get busy. So what so how would you grade how would you grade Jalen Hurts in this game? What what grade would you give Hurts? I, I give Jalen Hurts a B. I give him a B. A B. And that, that that's a good B. They could they could have put they could have put the game away a, a, a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, one yeah. bad. That bad. That was a bad interception. I don't oh, know where he yeah. was going with the ball. I, I, I don't either. But I, I give him a B. I give him a B. You, yeah. you're gonna make mistakes. You, you're yeah. gonna make mistakes. You know, as yeah. long as it, it, it wasn't. It's still costly because right. something like that can hurt you in the long run down the road. Right. Let's jump. Let's jump here. I'm actually in Colorado now. I'm in Denver, and uh, we're going uh -huh. up to Boulder, obviously, to uh, talk to Coach Prime and his team to have a big game yeah. tomorrow. Against mm -hmm. in-state rival uh, Colorado State, right? And Jay Nor Jay Norvell, uh, he said, uh, "I took my I took my hat off, and I took my glasses off." I said, "When you when I talk to grown-ups, I take my hat and my glasses off." That's mm -hmm. what my mother taught me. Why is he worried about what another man's doing on his team? What does that have to do with the game they got to play? What does that have to do with the game they have to play coming up? <laughs> why, why would you give Dion, his players, that coaching staff, bulletin board material and make things personal? You just saw what happened to Matt Rule when they did it last week. Mm -hmm. And here you go again with the same rigmarole, as my grandma used to say. <laughs> so now you got to go out there and back that up. Right. Why not? Why not praise Dion? Why not say, you know what, what he's been able to do and come in and change this program in such a short amount of time. That is amazing. What he's been able right. to do has been awesome. It's been great. Dion has been Dion since day one. Have we yeah. not watched him in the NFL? Have we not watched him as a coach? Yeah. Nothing about Dion has changed. That is what I love about him the most. He has yeah. remained his true, authentic self, not conforming to how, I don't know, maybe coaches in college have some type of pack where we're all going to conduct ourselves and act the same. No, That's well, I think him. it never you know has what been it, him. You know what it is, Ocho? I believe there are coaches behind the scene mm -hmm. that are envious and jealous of Coach Saban or envious and jealous of Dabo or Kirby right. Smart, but mm -hmm. they never verbalize it. You never right. hear them say these things publicly. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of envy, a lot of jealousy with Coach Prime in the mm -hmm. way he does it because it's unconventional. Right. Because of what he says, the way he talks, the mm -hmm. way he conducts himself, mm -hmm. but it works for his team. Mm -hmm. right. The way Coach Saban practices at Alabama might not work for Dabo at Clemson, or right. it might not work for somewhere, so for someone somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But why are you concerned? What is him taking his hat off? What is him taking his glasses off? What does that got to do with you? I have He's no idea. Coaching and raising his team, and trying to can uh, uh, rate. Bring, bring in boys, mm -hmm. and when they lead their men, let him do it his way. You right. do it your way. But I think there's a lot of envy and a lot of jealousy and yeah. a lot of resentment publicly for Coach Pride. But why? Please help me, help me understand why. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. As a coach, as a coach, black coach at that. Mm -hmm. And understanding how difficult it is for black coaches to get – Jobs and those get, positions. Get power five and, jobs. And yeah, Absolutely. Listen, yes. And, and, and be in positions of power to lead men. Mm -hmm. But to come back and say, oh, when I do interviews, I take off my glasses and my hat. because That's, that's you. That's your was. interview. You should do however you want to. What 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 are we talking about? What are we talking I don't care about? If he got, I don't care if he have a, a coveralls and a straw hat on. <laughs> that ain't got... The listen, way you conduct your business, where you right. do interviews, the way you mm -hmm. coach your team, that ain't got nothing to do with how I mm -hmm. do business over here. Right. And I don't concern myself with you. Right. But you know how it is. We, we concern ourselves. We always concerning ourselves with things that don't concern us. One of the things that I always learn is every time you focus on somebody else's plate, every time you focus on somebody else's plate, somebody eating off of yours, and you're mm -hmm. going to see the results of what happened when you don't lock in on your own plate when they play against them buffs. Because now they oh. made it personal. If, 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 if I was Coach Prime, with knowing knowing Prime the way I do, mm -hmm. I try to hang a hundred on them. <laughs> I would, I would. A hundred? I could, 
Yeah, I, you I, can't. I, you I, can't. I, you, you can't. You can't do that. Coaches have a coaches have a pack, and there's a certain line that you don't cross, like in the NFL. You know, I'm crossing. You don't it. keep scoring. You don't keep. I, I don't. I don't think it worked like that. If, if I'm not I, mistaken. Hey, you know, the, the, I, I'm crossing the route because he because here's the thing: there was no need for him to take a shot at time. There, there, be, there was no need for him to take a shot at time. Maybe None did it on ever. purpose. Maybe did it on purpose for his team, for the so sake of his team. That's why I'm trying to score 100. You get them fired. Yeah, you get them fired up. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it on purpose. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I hadn't talked to you Monday night. Mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers goes down four plays into his Jets tenure. Um, and a lot's been said, you know, the mm -hmm. turf and, 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 and what have you. When you when he first went down, what were your initial thoughts? I knew what it was based on his mannerisms, his body language. And then when you get in tackle the first time, your foot went in the ground, let your body go. Let your body go limp. Just fall. Just relax. Why are you right. fighting it? You turn around and turn around again and still fighting as if you're trying to get up out of there. For what? You if got you, all that pressure pulling you down. And as soon as that, as soon as the inflection, it's, yeah. it's popping. It got some got to get away. Right. Let your body go and go limp. Man, Aaron, you've been playing football for 19 years. You know, previously, I think maybe it was a play before or maybe two plays prior, he was able to spin out of that the same mm -hmm. way. Guy came off the edge, he spun out of it. This time it didn't work. You know he got you. Just fall down, let it go. But you, live, to see, live to play another play. Ocho, but you know on a three-step drop, you know both tackles are trying to get mm -hmm. the guy hands down because right. the ball is going to come out quick. Yeah. You know you cannot, whatever side you pick on a three-step mm -hmm. drop, you mm -hmm. got to stay that side. You right. can't because he started to come back, back. Yeah, and then can't. try to go backside. You can't. You can't. You can't do that. So right. once he went right and they're covered, mm -hmm. throw it away. It's gone. To. I, I, I feel to. bad. I feel bad for him for the simple fact that there was so much anticipation. Yeah. He had seemed to have found new life. He mm -hmm. wanted to be somewhere. And I tell people this all the time. My grandma used to always say, the loneliest place in the world is to mm -hmm. be somewhere you're not wanted. Mm. he knew that he wasn't wanted in green bay right and so right. now he had found a home they had welcomed him with open arms mm -hmm. he had the kind of cachet that he's always wanted in green mm -hmm. bay they had given him that in in, in new york mm -hmm. and then four plays in it's over that's Listen, a uh, that's a hard injury to overcome too ocho especially at the is. age of 40 39 39 40. i mean you you're right you're he's right gonna be 40. he's about to be 40 yeah, you're right. But listen, that, that injury with technology, with rehab and the things that they can do now these days, he'll be back in six months. And based on his Instagram post, he's letting the city of New York and the New York Jets know that he will so. be back next year. But I, I hope I'm so. not even I'm I, not I, even I fretting. I'm, I'm not even fretting. You know why? Because I believe in Zach Wilson. I believe and I like Zach Wilson. I love Zach Wilson. I love him to death. And matter of fact, you do I, know why do, do you do you know why Aaron Rodgers in New York? Tell me why Aaron listen, Rodgers was in New York. Can I can I say something, please? Can I say something, please? Yeah. Zach Wilson, Zach Wilson had expectations coming out of BYU, right? As did yeah. the New York Jets. As did the yes. New York Jets. Things didn't go the way he would want to. They didn't. You know how tough it is to go from BYU and dealing with the New York media of all outlets you got to deal with? The pressure. One thing my grandma always said, you surround yourself by certain individuals. At some point, you become one of them. How long, yes. has, Aaron Rod how long has Zach Wilson been around Aaron Rodgers? About how, how many months? Six months, maybe. About, 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 about six well, months. Well, OTA, so you talk about April. Okay, so he's, yeah. been, he's been around him for a little bit. I think enough is rubbed off on Zach Wilson on, Zach Wilson, on how, how, to, how to prepare. How to prepare how to play the game of quarterback, how to be a better leader, just little nuances that we, the, the public, the outside fans, don't know about. I'm sure he's going to be a much better quarterback than he was before because of him being I surrounded so. by Aaron Rodgers. I, I know, I know, I'm telling you, I know so. And you're going to see it when they play Dallas. Bro, bro, last year they were wearing the backup. You remember what happened in Philly? They started, they built a monument to Nick Foles. Carson Wentz was the starter. He had the C on his jersey. They yeah. built a, a montage. They built a, 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 a shrine 
They were they was wearing the backup quarterback's jersey. Oh, Joe, you tried to tell me all of a sudden they believe in you. Listen, sometimes all it takes, sometimes all it takes is surrounding yourself with the right person. I'm telling you, you think you think Zach don't feel bad about how things went last year? His expectations are higher than all of ours. No, he wanted to come in and be the best he can. It didn't happen. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Zach Wilson prove everybody wrong. Let me ask I you this. Okay. I, I guarantee you that. And then we'll start with the Cowboys on Sunday. I want to ask you this. Do you think the expectation expectations for the uh, uh, Jets were higher last year or uh-huh. this year? Oh, they were higher this year, obviously, because of Aaron Rodgers. And okay, they, so, and so they got a number, they got a, they got a top five defense. Obviously. You, now think about what you just said. Mm-hmm. Do you do you know the number one cause of a relationship ending? Is uncommunicated expectations. Mm-hmm. She wants to go somewhere, but she didn't tell you. Mm-hmm. Uncommunicated. She has expectations, but she didn't communicate with that with you. Right, right, right. She wanted to do this. You didn't know. She didn't communicate that. You wanted to do this, but you didn't tell her. Okay, now we got expectations that's mm-hmm. been communicated. Right. How do you think you're going to handle that pressure? The first hey. time. The first time he go out there and he have one of them a uh, Joe a uh, Joe Burrow and I'm not I'm saying have one of those Joe Burrow games right. where he throw for 82 yards right. and the defense balling out and they mm-hmm. lose seven to three. Then he just throw an interception the other night and he came right back and did what? Because he threw an interception and he came right back and did what? He answered. Are, are you he answered? Me, let me a ask you quarter- a yes, sir. Let me ask you. I just want to know one thing. How many times you think the quarterback? For the opposing team, go because Josh Allen was the best player on the Jets, and he happened to play for Buffalo. Listen, we we can't. Okay, we gonna we we can't. Josh Allen lost the game. Is that, is that that's what we're no. gonna use? That's that's a part of football. That's a part yes. of football. We can we can go through we can go through every game on the on the one o'clock slate this this coming Sunday, and we can find. Well, you know why they lost? They lost because the so and so did it. That's a part of the game. See, uh, that's a part the of the game. The, the difference is between Aaron Rodgers. Uh, a Patrick Mahomes or Tom mm-hmm. Brady and a Peyton they throw, Manning. They throw interceptions. They throw interceptions. You, you expected to win. Now you got Zach Wilson. You hope mm-hmm. to win. Well, if mm-hmm. the defense, if the defense plays lights out and we don't turn the ball over and an mm-hmm. eagle land on the flagpole at 12 mm-hmm. 10 p.m., we got a great <laughs> chance of winning. There is no expect, there's no I expect to win. There's a hope to win. Listen, like Cedric the Entertainer said. I wish a motherfucker, you know what? A quarterback, <laughs> a quarterback is only good as his supporting cast. You got Lazard, you got Cobb, you got probably top five right now in the league of young receivers up and coming and Garrett Wilson. You got a top five deep, you got a top five defense. All Zach Wilson has to do is facilitate and don't make mistakes. If he could That's do all that, they would gotta do. If they That's all he if has he to could, do. I hope you're right. Because there are a lot of hope and anticipation and expectations. Man, do you know what what disappoints the person the most is when you have expectations. expectations. I met the woman of my dreams, and right. she's not what I thought she was. Oh, Joe, I had expectations. I, I saw us with a picket fence and 2.5 right. kids and two cars. Wait, 2.5? She expect- yes, two and a half kids. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I was expecting. I got these expectations, and she wasn't what I thought she was. I'm, Do you I'm, know how bad that hurt? I know how, I know Ocho, how it hurt. It Ocho, we both, we, before you got married, mm-hmm. we both been in a situation. You didn't care what she did, and she didn't care what you, did, what you did. And when she found somebody else, you didn't give a D. At but all. when you love that person, mm-hmm. you invested time, you invested energy, mm-hmm. and she did what she did. It hurt. Mm. So you now too. there's expectation, and when you talk don't perform, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you took me back. You took me back. No, just then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, I, you I, I, I ain't want to go there. I ain't want to go there, Ocho. I ain't want to go there. But I want you to understand you what I, I got you do to a person's emotions. Right. I got you. And listen, Zach Wilson understands what's at the helm. He understands that he has a city. He has a city riding. Well, I'm riding with him. I'm not sure how the city feels about it, but listen, Zach Wilson's at the helm right now with all he, he needs your support. That's it. 
Shannon, you're not giving Zach Wilson your support. I'm telling you, his job is going to be a little bit easier because of a supporting cast, and he's going to be all right because that damn defense, oh, my goodness. Oh, the they defense the real, lights they, out. They, they the real deal. Right. The real deal. Jordan Whitehead had three interceptions. Ooh. He had a $250,000 incentive clause in his contract. If he gets three interceptions, he gets a quarter of a mil. He's already done that the first game. Do you have a story where you have had incentives in your contract that you reached and were like, ooh, your boy just got 50, your boy just got 100? You know or what? were there incentives in your contract that you like, hey, I mean, I missed out on this money? I'm sure I had incentives in my contract. I know I did, obviously, because all contracts are incentive based at some point, somewhere in the in the in the in the fine print. But I don't have a story. I'm not going to see him make one up either. But I know I did. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. You got to bring that question to me next time. You got to bring that question to me next because I'm gonna go do my homework. I'm, I'm gonna go do my well, homework because I know I had some 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 um after you know, um. Well, I think well, see, I was a seventh round draft pick, so absolutely right. I had incentives in my contract. Right. Um, I had incentive if I got a if I got a thousand yards, I got a hundred thousand wow. dollars. That was in night. That's a hundred thousand dollars back then was a lot of money. I mean, it still right. is a lot of money, right. but it, it was is. really a lot. It is. considering I was only making three hundred thousand. So hell, right. that was about to be a third of my. So I needed a hundred and twenty one yards mm -hmm. to get a thousand. Ocho, I had. Five catches for a buck sixteen and two touchdowns at the half, and then catch another pass. They did that on purpose. I don't know what they did. Oh I no, 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 they, uh, did no they they did that on purpose because I've heard the stories of running backs needing a certain number of carries, needing a certain yeah. number of yards towards the end of uh -huh. the season so they can hit an incentive. Oh, and the team decided to make a business decision. Yeah, I've heard the horror stories. It, it's it's happened many of times. Now one of the one of the the. Um, Incentives I can think about. It had nothing to do with playtime. Just all I can remember off the top of my head was the all season program. The all season I program, you know, yeah, you, you ain't go to that. Hell no. All, all season program, you know, you get you get three hundred fifty grand to attend yeah. uh, the all season program from 90%. eight to yeah, yeah, get ninety percent, and that, yeah. that's the only one I can remember. But I'm sure I had some for touchdowns and catches and and stuff like that. But I, I took incentives. Out of, I took incentives out of my contract after that point. Because right. somebody else could control it. Because right. the way I looked at it, Ocho, I felt I was the best at my position. Shouldn't I go mm. to the Pro Bowl? Right. I, I don't need to be in center. Shouldn't I be all pro? Shouldn't right. I lead the team in catches? Shouldn't I lead the team in touchdowns? I'm that dude. Right. So right, right, right. I don't need you to incentivize that. I'm I am I'm him. I'm who I said I was. You <laughs> see, I know. Uh -huh. They they, right. they 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 do play games with it though. They play games yes. with you though. Oh, they play Absolutely. games with you though. Especially when it's time to hit those incentives, man. They 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 keep track of all that stuff. Especially if you're a running back. If you're running yeah. back, they gonna play. They gonna play with you. They gonna play with you. Every well, that's time. The thing. <laughs> boy, you try to you lobby. You should be a lobbyist in D.C. Because boy, you lobby it hard for the running back to get their paper. Oh yeah, they they need to. They need to. I'm not sure. Listen, the the league. I understand the league is in a place now where they don't value the running back position as much as they should. Right. But again, at some point, there there are running backs out there that are special. If you special, if you special, Saquon, Alvin Kamara, CMC, Derrick Henry, Nick Chubb. Yeah. What I saw, what I saw from DeAndre Swift tonight, where. They ain't even use him in the pass game. Swift no. can line up in the slots. Swift, Swift can line up like Le'Veon Bell used to do with the Steelers, way out there running slants and stuff like that. They should be hitting double figures. 10, 15, 20 million deal contracts. Those are the type of money they should be getting when you're special. Do you know what I say? Oh, this is the way I look at it. I don't care if you don't give me but $10, but I mm -hmm. want all my 10 because I don't like that. I, because here's the thing: I don't like it. Now, if I if I don't perform, right. you release me and say you're making a business decision. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I sign a contract. I perform the contract. I say I I I, I, I want to raise. You mm -hmm. say, well, I signed the contract. Well, so do you. Think about Dad's Bryant. When right. Dad they released Dad, Dad had two years left. Mm -hmm. So it's like the only business that matter, and that's why I tell guys, man, don't y'all give them no discount. Right. Because not one time have you heard the NFL give these networks a discount mm -hmm. from broadcasting live events. Never but that. they you they want a millionaire to give mm -hmm. a billionaire a discount. Count. Right. What? Oh, home home hometown discount. 
where they do that at? <laughs> if you ain't from my hometown, I don't know not one owner from Glenville. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, and, I, and, and ain't, ain't none of them got no last name Porter or Shark. So right, right, right. We are related. Man, it's 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 a tough business. I think as fans, fans sometimes they get upset at the players for fighting for their money. And yeah. the fact that the fact that we have to fight for fight that we have to fight for our money, I think fans oh, don't have you, really they, they don't they are don't you see surprised? Are you surprised how the how the billionaires have mm -hmm. convinced the fans that they that fans have more in common with billionaires than they do the players do which are millionaires? Because here's it's, the it's, thing. This is what the owners know. This was a little bit before your time, but I remember it because I'm older. I'm a lot older than you. In '82 and '87, they okay. struck, and they put. And I won't. I won't be disrespectful to the mm -hmm. players because some right. of the players ended up making rosters, but the replacement players. And guess what happened? The fans showed up like they was like they was John Elway and Jim Kelly and Dan mm -hmm. Marino, so they mm -hmm. didn't miss a beat. Right. And the owner said, "Oh, so really." So we ain't going to do nothing. We ain't going to give you no guaranteed contracts. We're not going to give you no lifetime health benefits because we can put somebody out there in replace of you guys and the product goes on. And guess what? These broadcasters, and they're going to average, they're going to put they're going to put it on because mm -hmm. people love live events. Thanks. Yeah, but that, that wouldn't work today. Yes, it, I, it why, wouldn't work today. Oh, Joe. The, pro, the, why product do you think the, the, the product on the field right now, if you take – Let's say all 15, 1,600 players say, you know what? Okay, we ain't playing. And the owner said, okay, we're going to get people to replace y'all. The product on the field ain't going to be the same. It won't it be, same. be the same. But guess what? The player, the fans going to still show up because they love football. They struck in 87. They struck in 82. And guess what happened? A lot of those players, I ain't going to name mm. the names, but you go back and look it up. I want you to do your homework and look it up mm. and look at those big names that cross that picket line. And guess what happens? So if you get four, five, six of those big name guys crossing, what's a guy that made, went in the fifth round or the sixth mm -hmm. round or an undrafted right. free agent? If you got guys that got MVPs and DPOYs coming across the picket line, what you think they're going to do, Ocho? They're coming too. Right. Because okay. the owners know, see, the bank will say, okay, Jerry, hey, I want to push that $30 million loan payment that I got. I want to mm -hmm. push it till next year. Go tell your bank. You better give them their money or you better get up out that house in three months. <laughs> and them private schools that you sending your kids to, yeah. you're going to have to be in public school until you make them payments. Right, 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 right. And right, the owners right. know that. Yeah. It's a dirty game, man. It is, it's bro. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dirty game when you when you go beneath the surface and you start peeling back them layers. It's now, a but, dirty game. But Ocho, that's why I tell the guys, don't mess your money up. You mm -hmm. gonna this thing, you gonna wake up one morning and it's gonna be over. It's a wrap. Get, I'm I got every dime that Denver and the Ravens mm -hmm. was supposed to give me. They ain't right. took not one dime from me for missing no meeting, being mm -hmm. late, doing nothing. I'm gonna get all my. I want right. every dime that I'm supposed to get. I like that. I like that. Well, I got a question. You talk about every dime, and I'm I'm getting off the subject of. Of we talking football, we talking sports related stuff. We talk and, anything we want. This is our yeah, show. Listen, you, I seen you. I seen you flying. You flying private. You know how much it costs to fly private, man. Yeah. Do you yeah, know that's, how hard that's I work? That, yeah, you I know. know, how, how, I, know I, I know how hard you work. I know how hard you work. But come on, come on over here. Let me fly with me somewhere. Let me fly with me on Spirit real quick. That's C not gonna 18, happen. C let me ask, eighteen E. Let me ask you a question, Ocho. I'm sure, um, unfortunately, there have been some people that pass in your family. You, you've gone to, you know, home my going mama, services. My mama, grandma, yeah. Yeah. Was there a Brinks truck in any part of that procession? No. No. Was there a U-Haul in any of that procession? So they ain't nobody took nothing with them. Mm -hmm. Now, you leave everything. What you think your kid's going to do? You think your kid's gonna be as frugal and as thrifty and as miserly as you? Yeah. I'm, now I'm you leaving. made you made all that money. Now you that you. I I I, I would hope so because hope. See that you, you go. You see, hoping again. You see what you did. Listen, you said you hope. You seeing? Listen. Let me tell you something. That's a, fem what, that's listen, a female's name. Check. I don't know nothing about the hope. I know, I I went to school with a girl named Hope Perkins. Listen. 
Shannon, what percentage of us go broke two years after we finish playing? What percentage? That's that's if you oh probably like eighty seven percent if I'm not mistaken. Eighty seven percent of us go broke after we done yes. playing. Yes, but see that's when you got you got three houses, four cars, and you got four people on college funds. That's not your kid. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about, but even still, I got four hundred eleven kids. I'm still doing well, very well. Yeah, oh, for sure. Very, very, very well. Yes. 12, 11 years removed from the game of football. You know what? I eat I eat a certain way, but I treat myself occasionally. I'll eat some cookies. I'll have, a, I'll have some chicken. I'll have a burger. Okay. So if I want to work as hard as I've been working, say, you know mm -hmm. what? I'm going to go. I wasn't going to be able to make the game on time. Right. I promised time when I came out here and interviewed him in December. I mm -hmm. said I'll be here for your first game. Yes, sir. See, I I don't make promises because promises are like pie crust, thin mm -hmm. and easily broken. I make mm -hmm. commitments. I committed to that man that I was gonna come see his first home game. Right. I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming. I, I I don't mean to be in your personal business. I just I in case in, in, in case for me, if I want to say. I want to dibble in my stash and I want to, you know, take the kids somewhere yeah. and in a private jet. You know, we, we go on vacation or something. Yes. Like, what, 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 what's, what's that going to run me? What, by how much? What's that going to run me? It all, depend, it all depends on how big the jet is and how far you're going. Okay. Let's say um, I, I need a big one because, you know, I, my you kid, probably, I got you older probably, kids. You, so you want, you want a G, you want a G5, G6. So you're talking yeah. about what's, probably what's, 10, 15, 20,000 an hour. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. 15 to 20,000 an hour? An hour, yeah. Oh, nah, man. Shit. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. You, my bad. <laughs> nah, yeah. man. 15, 20,000 an hour. So if I yeah. got to fly to LA, and LA is, that's a far hour flight. Five I got to pay 40, I got to pay 50 grand? More than that. Yeah, oh, more than that, probably. Man, come on, man. Come Stop yeah. playing, man. Listen. Listen, I fly, I, I have to do, I have to work. I have to work and fly and travel every Monday. I got to go to Jersey, right? Yeah. I got to go to Jersey. Yeah. Quick, right down the street, two hour flight. Yeah. I get Spirit Airlines, ticket $80, round trip. Mm -hmm. I get from point A to point B just as fast, just as quick as you. You and you, yeah. you and Colorado, you want to be right now? But huh? you know what I did? Huh? It you is comfortable. You get the, you, you, the extra row. You get the you, extra you, row. You ain't had no bed. You saw your boy laying down eating breakfast and breakfast in yeah, bed favorite. at yeah. 30,000. Hey, but listen, listen, tell, let me tell you what I can do. I can stop at the drive through and get breakfast before I get on that flight. No. And sleep at 30,000. Ocho. I'm going to be asleep. Look, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not wasting, you know I'm not wasting, I'm, uh, uh, I'm not wasting with my money, Ocho. Okay. I got, I got two repaired hips. I've got two artificial hips. Wait, I got, you got an artificial hurt? eye socket. Yeah, I got my hip, both my hips replaced. Wait, one question. One question. Yeah. Both your hips replaced. Mm -hmm. I messed up. Yeah. Did you eat health? Did you eat healthy while you was playing? Man, we, we're not doing. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just we're asking. When you, this. when, when you was in the NFL, did you eat healthy while you were playing? I'm just asking a question. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not saying it had anything to do with your hip replacements. I'm just asking if you ate healthy or not. But okay, go ahead. I mean, so what you what you were trying to say? What you trying to get? No, at? I was I was just trying to say. I just trying to say. I, I I played I played for a long time. I played. Very no, you reckless. didn't. You didn't play long with me. You didn't play I, long with me. I, I played so long. You enough. probably would have. I, I played. Would've. I played twelve. I played twelve. Twelve. I played so twelve with, with no injuries, not one. Well, I messed up my pinky. Look at my pinky. I can't. I can't. Look, I my played. Pinky. I play, I got fourteen. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You ain't playing the trenches like I did though. But you better stop. I was a tight end. You not you ever been on one special team? Who I, I played special teams until my fourth year in the league. What you talking about? I was a gunner. What, what, I was a gunner. I, so was I. What you and talking I, about? And I was an L3 on the kickoff, kick return. I was on the punt, punt return. I was a, I was a kicker. I was the backup kicker. What you saying? You ain't the only uh, I, you ain't the only special team dude. Like did, I do it did, all. Did you did you see did you see what that punter did in Buffalo? Did you see what, what he did? What exactly. So what, when you what, say what you was doing? a kicker, when you say you was a kicker, I, I, I don't pay that no attention. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Because I played safety. I played safety in high school. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh my 
goodness. Don't do that. Everybody played. Everybody with bo- uh, uh, played both sides of the football in this high is, school. This, this is this is the funny thing. Some a lot of people don't know. This is something a lot of people don't know. And I, I'm going to share this story. Obviously, I went to Oregon State. I played with T.J. Hushmanzada as a receiver. My quarterback went Jonathan Smith, who now is the head coach at Oregon State. The funny thing is, I was supposed to be a defensive back going into the draft. I was supposed to be a defensive back. I went to Oregon State to play DB. Listen to me. Let me finish. I Listen, I lie for you before I lie to you. But I get drafted by the Bengals. I, I tell Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, I really don't want to play receiver. I want my dream is to always be an NFL DB because I want to be like Prime. I want to be like Prime. But the DB room was too crowded. The DB room was too crowded, and they moved me to receiver. You ain't even know that. Ocho, you won't you hit nobody. Ocho, huh, you won't hit I won't nobody. Hit. They said the same thing about Prime. They said the same thing about Prime. And he won't hit nobody. He won't hit them. But one thing about it, I I locked down one side of the field. Huh? Why does everybody, when they talk about, they go to the highest? Man, I was like Prime. Or I was like LeBron. Or I was like Ken Griffey Jr. Why y'all just can't go to a marginal player? Because I'm not, nothing about me is marginal. Nothing about me marginal. Only margin I know is butter. I ain't the one, and I'm not the two. I'm just telling you. This look at my check, check my check my resume. Check my stats in high school. This I had I had I had I had 22 picks, one year. Nobody ever done that before in South Florida. Dade County legend, man. I'm from Liberty yeah, City. Yeah, you had 22 fantasy picks. That's what you had. Never that. Okay. Never that. Ocho, Never you that. played. You were the wide receiver. You were, I, was you had a, a, you, I was a defensive back at first. I was forced to move to wide receiver is what I'm trying to tell you. I was a better defensive back yes. than wide receiver. What, what forced you to move there is because you wouldn't hit anybody. No, that is not what it was. The fact that the DB room with the Bengals, it was too crowded. It was you too didn't, many people. You didn't play DB at Oregon State. Yes, I did. I played both ways. I was Travis Hunter before Travis Hunter. What are you talking about? I was Dion. I did all that, man. I you did went, that. Yeah. Dion Warwick? No. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying it? I mean, what, what you mean? Dion D- D- who? Oh, man. Hey, at Liberty City, listen, Liberty City Optimus, I play both ways. I play receiver, I play DB, I play quarterback, and I play center. I did it all. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Nightcap. Oh, Shannon Sharp. He's Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Tune in again. We'll check you out Sunday night and Monday. Monday, we got a double header, Ocho. But Sunday night, yeah. we're back in action again. Thank you. We're out. Call me if you need me. <laughs> Don't call him if you need a DB because he can do you no good. <laughs> <laughs>